productivity that we've seen has exceeded what we originally expected, and it's been a pleasant surprise. I have a workforce that does not have car problems or babysitting problems, etc. They're always here and they're always willing to come to work. We are literally running 94 to 96 percent productivity every day. When we have available skilled labor, we can ramp up in a very short period of time. The situation here allows us to control our costs far more than we could in the past. It's a win-win situation for everyone. Growth is one indicator of business success, but growth is a double-edged sword. It poses challenges as well as opportunities. In tight labor markets, where can you find additional workers and space for more equipment? How do you manage the ebb and flow of production? Or find additional staff for peak periods? The solution? The resources inside America's correctional facilities. Bring your business to our labor. Benefit from industrial space that is built for production. If you are looking for a dependable labor pool with diverse capabilities, look no further. A select group of energized, motivated inmates are eager to work. Partnerships between private business and the nation's correctional institutions are on the rise and have proven successful. Ample production space. Flexibility in production scheduling. These competitive advantages are helping businesses to grow nationwide. There is not enough uh, folks that will do this type of work in this country. So therefore, we're bringing bringing back this industry that has historically has been going out of this country and we're putting it you know inside the walls and it's it's absolutely a, a perfect idea the work that can be performed is diverse manufacturing assembly packaging services hard working and reliable inmates show up for work every day voluntarily security and safety are a priority Inmates are interviewed and hired selectively, and their work habits and institutional behavior are closely monitored to maintain a safe working environment. Working side by side with skilled supervisors, inmates receive both on-the-job training and supervision. In many cases, offenders have completed vocational training to operate sophisticated equipment. These are job skills they can put to use once they are released. Through a partnership with Correctional Industries, ex-inmate Steve Flanagan worked for AMPM Gold Label Coffee while serving his time. Upon his release, Ed Graves, president of AMPM, offered him a position with the company. We were so greatly impressed with the attitude that Steve approached us with and the ethics that we had really felt that he had come to bring to bear to the position. His level of ambition, his level of energy, his just his entire attitude was just absolutely outstanding. And if we could, I would love to have at least 10 more of Steve. We would be thrilled with it. They gave me the opportunity to find you know, a business and people that run that business who are receptive to somebody who, have, who has made a mistake, paid their debt to society, and now wants to be an asset to society again, as well as to themselves and the company that they're going to be working for. These partnerships between correctional industries and business owners are set up to achieve one goal, long-term business success. Escott Industries um, is a cable manufacturing organization we manufacture cable assemblies primarily for the telecommunications industry. I've been uh, working with the Prison uh, Industries Association for approximately five years. It's been a very good learning experience. Uh, I've seen and watched uh, individuals actually grow within the organization.
and it's uh, it's been really a rewarding experience for me. That's good. How's it working? From a profitability standpoint, we can't ask for anything more. When we have a facility such as this, where we have available skilled labor, uh, that availability means that if we need an additional 10 to 15 to 20 individuals in a very short period of time, we can bring those individuals on overnight. When they are released, they have a, uh, a definite available skill. We've been extremely satisfied with the inmates. Um, any organization that is really looking to to increase uh, their operation, to expand their operation, really needs to take a good hard look at prison industries. It was one of the best moves that we've ever made. Your production is brought right inside the correctional facility. A business plan is developed to meet your production, space, and labor requirements. If you need flexibility in scheduling, or need to adjust the labor output to accommodate peaks and valleys in demand, it can be arranged. We can move materials in and out of the facility as needed. We've had no problem getting the number of inmates that we needed for the jobs. Uh, there are multiple applications for each job that we have. Their attention to detail uh, and their productivity uh, is really better than what we see in a civilian uh, workforce. Partnerships between correctional industries and private business are a rapidly growing segment of a multi-billion dollar industry in America. Partnerships with private companies are possible in almost every state. Qualy, which is an international company, holds a worldwide patent on a method of manufacturing furniture which is unique in the world. The inmate we have found to be far more willing to learn, by far more willing to give of himself, to improve of himself. Obviously, uh, when a industry is looking to relocate from wherever they are manufacturing or where they're considering to manufacture, a lot of various uh, parameters are taken into account. In respect of ourselves, uh, we did consider in relocating to China or to the Far East where labor costs are exceptionally low, but we found that in the end of the day, we had to be close to our marketplace. The decision to relocate was primarily that of a financial one. These business partnerships represent a win-win proposition. Business gains a competitive labor force and inmates learn valuable job skills. If your business is expanding or if you are experiencing a labor shortage, consider inmate labor. Starting a new enterprise or bringing business back to the United States or relocating from a foreign country, look at inmate labor. If you are investing in automation but need additional labor to step up production, these men and women are up to the task. Bring us your business challenge. Chances are there's a nearby correctional facility that can supply dependable labor, enhance your competitiveness, and increase your profitability. Be part of a progressive business solution. Call us for an appointment.